Hi, Steve here to demonstrate how we're going to put together our GX Gondola Series. Uh, we're going to take two three-foot sections, put them together to make a six-foot section, and then get the framework put together and at least get you at that point, and then you can add any accessories that you need to. So to start out with, we're going to take, we have two different standards. The first standard is called a two-sided single. So it, they're both in an upside-down T-shape, which means it's two sides. But the single only has one set of holes up on the standard, and then the channels are on the one side. So I'm going to take that first, and then I'm going to take a cross brace. And the cross brace has these two teeth that are going to fit into the bottom, and one of the few bolts that we need to, to put this together, bolt that together. So we're going to start here by fitting the two teeth in, and then it just clicks down. And then I'm going to take my bolt thread that together and then tighten it with my Allen wrench. All right, so I'm going to face this the other direction so I can see this. Okay, so that's the first step. Second step is now I'm going to take a two-sided double. It looks virtually the same. It's an upside down T, so it goes both ways, but by double, it's got two sets of holes and then it's got channels on both sides. So it's going to allow the uh, back panels to go this direction and this direction. Same concept. We take the two teeth of the cross brace, fit them in, click it down. And tighten it with my own. Okay, I'm going to add the second cross brace now to here. Same thing, the two teeth go in, click it down, okay. And then I'm going to take the final standard, another two-sided single, because it's just the channels on the one side. So now we're going to insert the back panel. Lock we actually down. offer three styles of back panel. As what I'm showing here is pegboard, standard quarter inch pegboard. We also offer a sheet metal slat wall and also a grid panel. All of them mount the same by lining up in the grooves on both sides of the standard and sliding into place. And then there's a channel at the bottom that fits into also. So we're going to do that on that side. And we'll do the same on this side. Just like that. Okay, and then we also have the same thing on the back side. I don't need to demonstrate that, but it would be the same thing. So now that I have those in place, now I have the headers. Now this header is different on one end than it is the other. It continues on one end. So the two pieces are going to meet in the middle and then go both directions. The way to distinguish that is that there's a slot at the top and the slots go on both ends. So when we put this together, that's the first one. Now I'm going to take same piece. Here's my slot. So I'm going to make sure it's to the outside, fits in here, fits in there. And then we do have a channel on these also, and we just got to get the pegboard in the back. And there we go. Okay, now our framework is locked together, and that's pretty much the basics of it. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to add the base shelf. Now this is a sheet metal base shelf, and it's got a kick plate on the front. And it simply just nests just like that. Those lock together. So here's pretty much the basic that you're going to start with. And then you can add the shelves or pegs that you want to. Here is a sheet metal shelf, just for example. Line that up on my holes here.
And there you go. Okay, now we're going to assemble the end cap that goes on the end of our gondola system. We're going to do the same thing by starting with our standards. Now the standards are a little bit different on this one because they're only one-sided, so it's in the shape of an L, and we have a left hand and a right hand side, and that is determined by the channel. We want to keep the channels to the inside. So taking, this is going to be the right hand looking from the front. I'm going to take my same cross brace, stick the teeth into the holes, lock it down, and tighten with the Allen. I'm going to take the other side. Again, it's got channels, and the channel is going to be on the inside. Put the teeth, lock that down. Take my bolt. Bolt in and tighten with Allen. There we go. All right, now we're going to insert the back panel, same as we did on the original run. And again, we do offer three different styles. We're going to install the pegboard again. We do have a metal slat wall, and we do have a grid panel, but they all mount the same way. So I'm going to line these up on the two channels. Make sure they meet here at the bottom, just like that. Now, the top cap on this one is slightly different than we did because it doesn't continue either end. It basically needs to be flush at both standards. So you're going to see we have a groove on both sides. Now, what's important is there's a groove in the middle, and the groove needs to be to the back side of the rack because that's how it's going to connect to the main run. But other than that, top cap lines up here and here, and there we go. Now, I'm going to take the frame because it's a little bit lighter, and I can just take the whole system and place it right here to where it lines up center here. And I've got a clip connector, and it's going to fit into these two grooves. Now our system is rigid in one. Now, end cap takes the same components. You have a sheet metal base shelf with the kick plate. And that just sits right in place. And now you can add your shelves or your pegs or any other accessories you need. I can just demonstrate by adding one more sheet metal shelf here. Line those up. And there you go.